Governor Greitens is touting his own horn tonight, tooting it, in fact, on his first session in office. The governor held the first press conference to talk about his successes, but as 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey finds, he couldn't dodge questions regarding a nonprofit connected to him. Well, during Governor Eric Greitens' press conference earlier today, he called the start of his term the most successful start of a conservative administration in a generation. He, of course, took the time to talk about his successes so far in office. Within moments of beginning his second State House press conference of his term, Governor Eric Greitens made sure People to tout his successes. To Conservatives have been trying to enact right to work for 40 years. We got it done in six weeks. Just over four months in office, leading to changes like making Missouri a right to work state. We had to fight a corrupt system that was forcing people to pay union dues just so that they could keep a job. The governor also lauding his administration's response to disasters like the Oak Grove tornado after sending crews and resources to help those impacted. I want to tell you our team was prepared and ready. And they worked hard to keep people safe. But plenty of questions still facing the governor, notably involving New Missouri, the nonprofit linked to Greitens as a way to further his agenda. Today, reporters pressed him on his involvement with the group. What is your day-to-day -day yes, role with, or any role uh, I was very clear, sir. I have no day-to-day -day responsibilities. On the last day of the Missouri General Assembly, Greitens hinted at a possible special session to move forward on issues in the Republican-controlled State House and Senate. And we're going to keep fighting for the people of the state of Missouri. And as I said, uh, for a lot of these politicians, round two is going to start sooner than they think. Some of the more notable issues that Governor Eric Greitens did not bring up during this press conference, including transparency issues with his administration. Plus, Governor Eric Greitens did not offer his views on the efforts to repeal Obamacare in Washington, D.C., as, of course, those talks continue right now. In Jefferson City, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.